Unions representing 73 sacked maintenance workers at SPC Ardmona say the employees have been sacrificed to appease the federal government. They'll be replaced by contract workers at the Victorian canneries as part of an aggressive cost-cutting drive. The company is trying to meet federal conditions for a multi-million dollar grant to modernise its Shepparton plant, one of the last remaining fruit canneries in Australia. The workers found out at 7am on Friday that their jobs were no longer safe. Some have decades of specialist experience and can earn in excess of $100,000 a year. These are people that will work during the summer, 35, 40 degrees, in hot, dirty conditions and work any time of the day or night to produce the product. So effectively these people are being sacrificed to provide a gesture to the government. SPC Ardmona is seeking $25 million each from the Victorian and federal governments to update the Shepparton plant. But the Prime Minister Tony Abbott wants to see productivity levels lifted first. The company and the unions have been negotiating for six months. Before Christmas, workers offered to freeze pay levels and to make some changes to conditions of hours and shifts. The company says it wasn't enough. If SPC Ardmona closes, thousands of jobs would be lost in the Shepparton area, where unemployment is already at 7% and where one in four people live on welfare. The local council is backing the company's plans to retool. It's also offering services for the laid-off workers. That wouldn't have been an easy decision to make and if that makes SPCA uh, sustainable into the future, then that's something that council obviously supports. Maintenance services will be outsourced as of May. The fate of the remaining workers and perhaps the Goulburn Valley's fruit industry won't be known until the company resumes talks with the federal government next year. Karen Percy, ABC News, Shepparton.